All right, what is up everybody? Good morning, good morning. We are back in the car today, so you know what that means. We are taking the little man to daycare. He's in the back seat. Say hi. No, now you're gonna be shy and not talk? All right. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, today is Wednesday, January 10th. I believe it's the 10th. Yes. Um, and today, I lied at the end of yesterday's video and said that today was a rest day when in fact today is actually leg day. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna get back home after dropping him off um, and we're gonna hit legs. I was debating this morning whether I wanted to just treat it as an actual rest day, um, but then I remembered that today is my leg day where I don't do any kind of like compound movement, I guess you could say. I don't, I'm not doing squats, I'm doing belt squats instead. So it's pretty, pretty lower body isolation, I guess you could say, because um, my back is still really tight, honestly, from two days ago when I hit um, the pull session. I don't know, again, if it's just a combination of skiing that day and hitting dead, stiff leg deadlifts and just kind of changing up the back exercises a little bit or what, but like my traps up through my um, shoulder blades and everything are all just really tight. So even though I've been doing some stretching and foam rolling and stuff the past couple days, it still has not been helping a lot. Um, it's getting better but it is still just very tight, which would impact um, like squats and stuff if I were to do them today. So it's a good thing that I am not. But yeah, that's kind of the plan for right now. Uh, going to start things off as usual with calves on the calf press or the leg press. Then we will move in to, uh, what is it? Seated leg curls. Um, and currently debating if I want to do the standing single leg curl on each leg workout or if I want to just stick to the seated leg curl on one and just do them on the other. I'll see how I'm feeling when I get to the actual workout. The other option would be to set up a lying leg curl. Um, and that's just going to be a bit of setup time before I start my workout, whether I want to do that or not. So we'll see, again, kind of how I'm feeling once I get into the gym. Um, but for sure, we'll start off with a couple heavy sets, throw the stack around and then some on the seated leg curl. Do a couple more sets of some type of leg curl movement, hamstring movement. Then move into my typical warm up set on leg extensions. And then we'll do a couple sets of belt squats. Um, we'll see actually. I'm not sure if I want to do belt squats or if I might do leg press. Kind of see how I'm feeling today. I haven't done leg press in quite a while. Um, yeah, we'll see how I'm feeling. Whether I do which one just depends on how I feel. Uh, and then after that, move back into the leg extension. Uh, and today I'm feeling, definitely feeling leg extension superset with sissy squats. Uh, and then finish it off with the adductors because I'm not pressed for time today I should be good on that so I shouldn't have to worry about anything um, so yeah that's kind of the whole plan for the workout today nothing too crazy uh, and then afterwards I've got to get a bunch of stuff done around the house because the house is a bit of a disaster right now um, yeah we're currently in the progress in the process of doing a lot of reorganizing like in the kitchen and everything um, and just in general the whole house is a disaster so gonna be doing a bunch of cleaning and stuff around the house and then do some walking at some point get a couple videos edited and then I might even film something in the garage a review video or get at least get started on something so I'll see how I feel, see what I'm up to today and how much I get done before I have to go pick him up around five o'clock. And yeah, overall, it's just gonna be kind of a, a very, what's the word I'm looking for? A very productive day is my goal. I want to get a lot done. 
I've also still got his um, Murphy bed that I've been working on slowly over the past month and a half that I need to finish up, but I kind of need a second set of hands for that, so that might have to wait until until Saturday when my wife is home so she can help me out with that. Maybe. We'll see. Um, and, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got right now, so I'm going to get him dropped off, and then I will check back in with you guys when we get home and we get started on the workout. Ooh. Do I want to take pre-workout today? Huh, excuse me. I'm not sure. I'm not sure right now. I'll see. It's been about a week since I have stopped taking stimulant-based pre-workout. And I usually like to go at least like two-ish, maybe three weeks of kind of like, I guess you could say detoxing from it to allow my body to reacclimate to it um, so we'll see probably no pre-workout today maybe just hydraulic or something creatine that usual stuff but anyway I've rambled on again it's too long so I will see you guys in the gym <laughs> okay we are back in the gym finished off calves I didn't record any of that just because it's like I said before me just sitting on the leg press machine for like five minutes five ten minutes five sets just going at it nothing too fancy with it um and yeah getting into the first working set here of this exercise uh seated calf or seated cur oh my gosh cannot speak seated leg curls uh going a little bit lighter today so just throwing around the stack feeling like Feeling like going a little lighter and just increasing the volume a bit, so going a little bit higher reps. Um, so we're gonna be aiming for like 12 to 15 instead of like my eight to 10-ish typical rep range. So yeah, we're gonna do that, and then we'll just do, I'm kind of feel. I'm honestly feeling this movement for like four sets. It's kind of what I'm feeling. Instead of doing two here and then moving to something else, I'm feeling just like sticking on this movement. Part of it's just kind of being lazy. I don't really want to get up. Um, and the other part of it is just, the workout, their warm ups have been feeling really good. So, yeah, we're gonna just stick to that and then just knock them out. All right. Uh, make sure I got some good music going first. <clears throat> oh, okay. Let's lock in and go. Okay, that was that was a damn good set. So yeah, I can try to keep that intensity up, drop the weight down like 20%, and another one. Oh boy. Ah! Oh, God damn. 
damn it, get me out of here. Mm. Oh. So, finished off the seated leg curls and getting into extensions. Um, gonna do one warm up set and then. Honestly, I'm not sure if I'm gonna just stick to this or if I'm gonna do something else. Um, I'll see how, how I feel after this warm up set. Uh, I don't know, again, I'm feeling kind of lazy, so I'm thinking I might just do leg press for a couple sets, keeping it kind of high volume again, just especially because I haven't done leg press in a while. It's a novelty movement, so it's gonna be fairly fatiguing and taxing over the next couple days, so I don't wanna push it too hard. But yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking up for the next movement once I do this warm-up set here. So nothing too crazy, just like 15, 20 reps, and then we'll move on. <clears throat> Slow, controlled, pausing, and just squeezing the muscles. Don't want to push it too far. Oh. Did a quick warm-up set, and then could have just dived straight into this one. So I'm going to aim for, eh, I don't know, 12, 15 reps. Try and control it as much as I can, and just see how this goes. I haven't done leg press in a couple months, so uh, definitely going to be interesting. That actually feels pretty light. That's feeling pretty good. Gonna do, let's do at least one more. Oh, excuse me. Oh, shit. Working out without pre workout sucks. But I know it's all gonna be worth it once I have weaned off it for a couple weeks. All right. Oh, excuse me. Um, I guess I could talk about this since I haven't done leg press in the series yet. So with leg press, a lot of different ways you can train the different muscles of the legs. Obviously, you can do calves. That's what I do every leg day. Um, but I'm talking more specific specifically about how you position your feet. So for example, you position your feet fairly high and wide as you come down you're going to be working more of that posterior chain the hamstrings the glutes versus if you position them more narrow but again still high you're going to put some of that emphasis a little bit more onto the quads but still recruiting a lot of hamstring you drop the feet down on the platform a little bit more and you're going to transition more into a quad bias press same thing if you do low and wide, it's gonna be a little bit more quad biased, but you're also gonna start recruiting some of that hamstring and the glute specifically. 
Um, now, a lot of people tend to debate whether or not a narrow stance is going to be better than like say a neutral like shoulder width stance. For me personally, I tend to prefer kind of just inside of shoulder width. I'm not going super narrow like Tom Platt style squat stance narrow. Um, I'm not going like just straight in line with my hips. I'm going maybe just outside of my hips. So just inside of shoulders, just outside of hips, turn my toes slightly out and I find that to be the best position for me to kind of target as much quad as possible while still being in a comfortable, comfortable position to be able to move as much weight as possible. So yeah, it's just kind of one of those things where you play around with it, you feel how the movement affects your legs by changing the position of your feet. So that's what I'm going for here. That's how I'm keeping the movement biased towards the quads as much as possible. And yeah, that's just kind of the gist of it. So let's do a second set here. And this is actually feeling pretty good. So I might just stick here for like two more sets and then finish the workout off with like two sets of leg extensions and then some adductors. We'll see, see how this feels. But so far it's feeling pretty damn good. All right. Yeah, that burns, but that's feeling pretty damn good. So I can do one more set and then I'll just do like two sets of leg extensions, not super set them with anything. And then finish the workout off with some adductors. Oh, last set, best set. Oh. Just stop. There we go. pretty damn good actually oh um but no we're just gonna do eh, probably two sets here on the leg extension because i could tell my quads are pumped already i don't need a heck of a lot more of volume to finish them off all right come on March. there we go oh. So let's get this. Um, what am I doing? Like 12, 15 reps, something like that. Let's just go. Uh, come on. Uh. Uh. 
I feel like that was not all the way down. I don't know. Felt like that wasn't all the way far, all the way forward. But either way, good set. One more, and then adductors, and that'll be it. Oh. That's it, best set. Okay, fuck. That's it. Ow. Uh. Oh man, my straight just gave out there. That's usually that's usually a pretty good sign that whatever muscle group I am working is pretty much toast or finished, finito. Um, whenever I I'm doing an exercise and then all of a sudden it just gives out. Basically, you're like, nope, there's nothing left in the tank. I can push it as hard as I want. It's not friggin' moving. Couldn't even get any solid partials, which this movement is pretty easy to get partials on, um, even when you're fairly taxed. But when you get to a certain point where like your muscles just completely give out, that's usually a good sign that you're, you're pretty much done. You've done the work. You don't need to do much more if any more, really. So that's where I'm gonna call it for quads. Um, I'm gonna do a couple sets of adductors and then check in with you guys again on the pump check. So yeah, I will check back with you on the pump check because adductors are nothing fancy. It's just nothing really great. So uh, you guys don't need to worry about that. Um, if I had like an actual adductor machine, sure, I'd record that, but I don't. So, I won't. So, I'll see you guys in a second. <laughs> Up we go! Okay, let's bring the exposure down as usual. Uh, let's see how that looks. So, overall, dog hair. <laughs> like I said, with a husky and three other dogs, you get dog hair everywhere. But, no. Um, what was I saying? Oh, overall, that was a Pretty, pretty darn good workout. I really actually liked the leg press. I don't know why I haven't done it in a while. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Might throw it in for a little bit of a rotation. See how I'm feeling each, each time things come up. But, felt pretty damn good today. So, yeah, uh, hamstrings were feeling really good. They are going to be sore, that's for sure. Um, just like I was saying before, stuck to the seated leg curl and just did four sets there just because I was feeling lazy. Uh, kind of nice with the leg press. Just sit down pretty much the whole time, minus getting up and moving the camera. Hell of a lot less fatigue in terms of overall compared to like squats or even the belt squat. I don't know, just a little bit more isolation since my back is still really tight. Uh, but getting on, let's move into the pump check. So yeah, oh, show and tell time. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm wearing underwear, I swear. Oh, no knee sleeves today, just cause I wasn't feeling them. But that is a hell of a pump right there. Oh man, yeah, I can tell my legs are very pumped. Ooh, I still love that. The feathering in the quad, feathering in the teardrop, 
Each side actually has a pretty good bit of feathering in them. Um, calves are calves are calves. Nothing too crazy there. Right there, that separation between the quad and the hamstring. That's always awesome to see. Spiking the calf, showing it up against it. I don't know, lighting is not the greatest for that. Uh, pretty, pretty damn good. If I do say so myself. Oh man. more separation up through the top of the quad into the adductor. I don't know how well that comes through on camera. Oh, but yeah, Ugh, legs are, legs are toast. So overall, two thumbs up, damn good workout. Feeling good, feeling hungry. I need to go inside and get some food and then get a whole bunch of stuff done around the house because it is already getting on with the day and I need to get stuff done. So yeah, that's gonna be it for me today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I will see you all. Tomorrow is going to be the rest day and that's when I'll be doing some filming in here. Um, so I will see you guys tomorrow for that, but the next workout is not going to be for two days, which will be going back to a push day with a chest emphasis. And my chest has been, my, or my shoulder has been feeling pretty good lately. So hopefully we'll kind of be able to get back into some type of pressing. Um, I don't know if it's going to be dumbbell, barbell. Definitely be incorporating some type of machine. But overall, not sure what it's going to be at this point in time. We'll see on the day how I'm feeling. But yeah, that's the next workout in the line. So I will see you guys then for workouts otherwise i will see you guys tomorrow for some type of review video still undecided on what i'm going to do but we're going to figure it out because that's what i'm up to right now <laughs> so yeah i will see you guys later oh <sighs>